Hey guys, what's going on? So, today I am going to show you how to make a fishing lure out of a pop can or just, just happens to be a Bud Light beer can. So you just take your can, just cut a section of it out. There you go. And this is what you're going to be making. And you can even make one of these. You just wrap it around this way. But I find that these ones work a little bit better. So if you or out in a survival situation, or you just forgot your uh, bait, you know, your trip's not totally ruined, these work okay, but the paracord, um, paracord fishing lures work a lot better than this. But you can find a lot of these beer cans just laying around most of the time out by your lake. So this one's a little more practical for finding your supplies. All right, so, and one more thing before we get started. Can you guys hear that? So this actually does make sound underwater when it moves around, which does help. All right. So what you're gonna need a safety pin. This just happens to be a large brass safety pin, uh, like a crack in a table, a picnic bench, or something like that. So you can press this through. You can take and cut a piece of your pop can out. I just cut a little fish shape out just to be creative. Try something new. This is sharp, so be very careful. So all you're gonna do is take and put that right over your crack, and then you're gonna take your fishing hook, and you see how big this gap is? Our holes have to be farther apart than that. If you put them too close, you won't be able to thread this on, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So you're gonna take your safety pin, bend it out so you can push, Put it right over the crack, and then you're going to put your first hole, just push it, just like so. Now you got one. Now you're going to take and set this on here, so you kind of know where you're going to put your second one. Second one's going to go about right here. Push that one, and your last one. So your last one's going to be right by this tail. All right. All right, now that you got three holes poked in there, you guys can see. Let's see if that helps you out any. There you go. So now you're gonna take your fishing hook and you're going to hook the first hole just like so. Be careful doing this. Just gonna work it on. There we go. So now you get your first one on. Now you're going to take and push your hook through. This is why I like these long shank little hooks. They work out great. Now you're going to line that up with your other piece or your other hole. And if you have to, push and bend the can to get it threaded through, started. And now you can really push it through. There we go. All right. If you guys are bending this, don't worry too much. It's going to happen. It's aluminum, so it's really easy to bend back. So now you're going to push this through again and turn it like so. Ouch. <laughs> Don't poke yourself. So now bend the can so you can reach your other hole right here. All right. There we go. I'll push this through. There you go. Now that you got this weaved on, it's not going to come off. It'll stay on on its own. And that's pretty much it, guys. So this will act like a spoon in the water, and you can bend it and adjust it. But these do work. I've tried and used these before, <laughs> mainly as a kid. You know, I ran out of money, didn't have enough money for bait. So I tried this, you know. All you need is a pair of scissors, a safety pin, a... Uh, a pop can, beer can, and a hook. And this works out great. They're really light, so you're probably going to have to have some split shots, or you're going to have to cast it like a uh, fly fishing. So you'll have to just let some line out and throw it on out. But they do work. Little, little bass really love these, and some of those little sunfish, bluegill, really like them. I've even caught a couple trout on them, which is pretty crazy. So you can make them just be however creative you want. You can cut whatever design you want. Just, you know, cut it out, poke your holes, and thread it on. So 
I hope that helps you guys out. If you guys use this and make a video, please let me know. I'd love to see it. And I would go fishing today, but the water is still iced over, and I am not a ice fisherman. <laughs> so, alright guys, if you like my video, I appreciate it. If you comment, I appreciate that. And if you subscribe, I really appreciate that. So, as always, good luck fishing, guys.